In this video, I'm going to show you how to place citations in footnotes in Microsoft Word for Mac 2011. First, a little bit of background. In Word, a citation always means a parenthetical reference embedded in line in the text. It's also called a Harvard reference. These are common in scientific publications. You can insert parenthetical references anywhere in a Word document, including in footnotes. Unfortunately, Word does not allow note system citations, either full notes or partial notes. And right here in the help documentation, Microsoft tells us that, quote, you cannot use the information in the citations tool or source manager to create footnotes or endnotes, and you cannot use footnotes or endnotes to create a list of works cited or bibliography. So Chicago style citations, which use the note system with references and footnotes, and also a full bibliography at the end of the document, are not supported. This is unfortunate because the note system is prevalent in general nonfiction and many types of academic and technical writing, other than the sciences. So that might be a reason for you to use a third party citation manager. But there are workarounds if you want to use Word Citation Manager, and that's what this video is about. The first step is to embed your inline citations. So I'll put one here, put a second one at the end of this paragraph, and a third one at the end of this line. Second, you need to create a works cited list or a bibliography. So I'm going to put my cursor down a few spaces. Go up to Document Elements in the ribbon, click Bibliography, and create a bibliography. Third, I need to create footnotes adjacent to each of those parenthetical citations. So I'm going to put my cursor right up here between the sentence and the citation. And still in the Document Elements tab up in the ribbon, under Citations, I'm going to click Add a Footnote. Now, the fourth step is to manually copy and paste the right reference from the bibliography into that footnote. So here's the first one. Copied it. I pasted it. Now I'm going to go up, add a second footnote, copy and paste the second reference. And now I'm going to do a third one. Some difficulty selecting, copied, pasted. Okay, so now all of my citations are in their appropriate footnotes. So now the fifth step is to select each of the inline citations up in the text. And to really select them, you need to click on these three dots right there and then delete them. And I'm going to go through and do all three of these. Click on it, click on it again on the dots. You can see it's selected in blue and just hit delete. Okay, they're all three deleted. So now we just have footnotes and we have the full reference in each footnote down here at the bottom of the page. Now note that if you need to keep your bibliography, because say you're using the Chicago style, that, that will stay. Uh, the bibliography is not determined by what citations are in the text, it's determined by what citations are in the citations list right here in your citations palette. So as long as you don't delete your citations from here, they'll stay in your bibliography even if you click update bibliography. So you don't have to worry about that. And that's how it's done.